Hello, hello guys. This is Rago42 and maybe you remember this world. So this is from the Cycraft Iron Farm. Well, in a creative world of course. And there are no golems in this pad at the moment. Well, that's mostly because they die up here right now. And yeah, if I press F3 you might see that I'm in Minecraft 1.9 or 1.9.2 to be precise. And yeah, I actually performed a complete reset of the farm. So it's still working, but I had to do some minor additions, let's say. So I added the nether portal, of course, um, just because I didn't want to be connected to this test server all the time. Um, I put in 12 items here in the timer. Um, so the unloading time for uh, the overworld has been shortened to 15 seconds instead of 60 seconds. So of course, Below 15 seconds we have to shoot through an item again and 12, uh, 12 items worked out fairly well. So it's a compromise between being really safe that you always shoot an item through at the right time and also um, yeah, to not waste too many items. Um, this also means if you reset the farm, make sure you have a lot of items here, like maybe these three chests or well, at least a chest should be sufficient actually, um, of trash items you can send through because otherwise they will run out rather quickly, so at least four times as quickly as they did in the 1.8 uh, version. Then there's another addition, um, and at this point, shout out to TDL. So he pointed out to me um, how to fix the spawn floors, so to say. Um, as you might remember before, there was water running all over the place, and especially here in the gaps. So what I did now is basically when there was water running into these redstone walls, Maybe it's from here. So it was running in here to push the golems out of these two white blocks. Now the water is running through the spawning pads completely. So these two blocks, but there's no water in these gaps here. And that's because for some reason 1.9 uh, iron golems actually start to float sometimes in water. Um, maybe I can put in a screenshot here. I did before with the old spawning floors. So yeah, it's fairly straightforward how to upgrade this. So. It's literally the same design, so trapdoors are all the same place. And basically what you do whenever there was water flowing into these things, just poke out the second block, put a source block of water here at the back where the trapdoors are, and yeah, just put some fence gates, open fence gates on both sides to cap it off so it doesn't flow out. Fairly straightforward and a small fix you will need to do. Then there's basically two more things. So you might remember this villager elevator here. And if you take a close look, this was originally set to two times three ticks. So oh, this was the 1.8 setting. Now villagers behave a little different. They collide with each other a bit more and whatnot. So basically every layer here, so whenever there's the signal going round once, you have to increase it by one redstone tick. So here we have now seven in these two repeaters. And actually down here we have the same. So three plus four, it's just a bit cramped around the corner. These ones here stay at two ticks, by the way. Then here also four plus three, four plus three, and we're already at the top. So that's also a minor thing, otherwise they wouldn't uh, rise up to the uppermost level and well, they would basically detect these doors here, which would screw up the reset because they wouldn't be fully detached and uh, anyways. Then there's one more thing that many people were worried about or actually are still worried about, and that is villager AI and moving in minecarts. Now, you might remember, here, these guys are actually in minecarts and they're not moving. Well, why is that the case? So someone suggested just to put glass here. Um, okay, actually you could also fill this block with glass. I did it on the other sides. So here it's completely encased, but it doesn't really work. They still start moving around, uh, which sucks a bit, but there's a simple fix and you can already see it here. So if you remember correctly, there's normally, so in Rompant 8 there would be a normal rail here where the last powered rail is, so right at the height of the repeater, and then a powered rail which would be unpowered by default on this side. So we'd power the rail, send the villager off. What I did now is simply use a block in front of a sticky piston here, so it would get pushed by the block onto the powered rail, and then at the same time a block is behind the powered rail so the villager would start going off. And while they are riding on a powered rail I haven't seen any weird behavior so that seems to be reliable. 
Um, maybe let's go to the side. We can see it a bit better here. Actually, why is this guy here? So the farm reset correctly. I actually checked the MPT file. But for some reason, he managed to spawn over here. Interesting. Haven't seen him before. Um, yeah, maybe some temporary shift. Um, that's actually why I put some blocks in here, which I didn't have before. Um, that should prevent the spawning. Anyway, so here you can see it again. So there's no rail below this villager, meaning this minecart can't move on itself. And at the other end, it's literally the same thing. So this is maybe a bit easier to see. Really not much to do. So instead of pointing this redstone line into the block where the rail would be on, or into the rail directly, as it was down here, just extend it a little bit into a sticky piston, and that's it. So, not really too much to do, is there? And that's really everything I upgraded. And yeah, the farm is running like a charm. Sometimes I feel the spawn rates would even be a bit higher, but I haven't done any measurement on that. And actually, they seem fairly realistic for what its uh, nominal output is. Oh, we can actually see golems swimming up in lava. Nice. So yeah, something with the AI changed as well, it seems. Oh well. Okay. Hope you enjoyed, and hope you're still having fun with iron farms in 1.9. So of course many of these changes can be adapted to other farms, like mostly the villager part. And yeah, so that's all. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye bye.